hi everybody welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm just gonna kind of do like a Q&A about me so like if you're new here or I just haven't really like updated you guys with my life and whatnot because I've been so MIA so I just like looked up some questions that like I can answer for you guys so I'm gonna start off with the basics <laughs> what's your full name my name is Alexa Celeste Montes. Um, when's your birthday? My birthday is June 16th. I am a Gemini and every time people ask me like, oh, what's your zodiac sign? I'm like, oh, I'm a Gemini. And they're like, <laughs> and I'm like, why does everybody think that Geminis are like two-faced and evil? Oh, sorry guys. I'm like, I'm not evil. Like I'm the nicest person you'll ever meet. So don't get scared because I'm Gemini. I'm not that bad. What's your favorite color? That's kind of a hard question for me. Every time people ask me this, I'm like, well, I love the color purple, but I don't wear purple. I'm more of a fall color type of girl. Um, but like, I like to like have like purple blankets, purple socks, like my toya to take a shower is purple, <laughs> like stuff like that, but I don't wear purple. Um, what's your lucky number? My lucky number is 11. That is my favorite number. Um, where are you from? I am from Texas. Um, I'm like, should I say what city I'm from? I don't think that's a secret. I'm like, do I have any stalkers in here? I'm from Texas. Let's keep it at that. Um, what's your height? I am 5'2". Um, what talents do you have? Um, I used to dance in high school. I can't dance the same way I used to dance, but I don't know. What talents do I have? Oh, me being boring. We'll get back to that one. Um, what else? What's your favorite animal? Um, well, I have dogs. Like, I love my dogs with all my heart. They're miniature schnauzers. But, mm, yeah, we'll keep it at dogs. Oh my god, I used to have hamsters. Hamsters are the best, too. Um, what's the furthest, furthest you've ever been from home? Well, I don't care if you guys know. Okay, so, like, I live in Houston, Texas. We won't be specific. Houston is pretty big. But I moved to El Paso to go to college. You might know because of some of my vlogs. I've talked about it. Um, but that was 11 hours away from here. So that's the furthest I've been. Um, what is your favorite holiday? I feel like Thanksgiving and Christmas. I like like the vibe. Like I don't like that it's cold. But like it's just like a nice like like Christmas spirit. Like... I like that aspect of it. Um, favorite pizza topping? Pepperonis and jalapenos. For sure. What song do you love the most? Well, as of right now, and my friends are probably going to roast me about this, but I don't care. My favorite song right now is Remember by Russ featuring... Who's in it? Haley, I think. Let's see, look... I'm gonna play out a little bit, but I can't play out a lot because then I'll get copyrighted. Um, featuring Haley, what's her last name? Haley Knox. Look, I wanna play out the part where the girl sings. Hold on, we're gonna get copyrighted. Hold on, pause. Okay, I think she's about to sing. Okay, ready? Isn't that something? Okay, I'm gonna get copyrighted, but go check it out. Remember by Russ featuring Haley Knox. It literally just came out because it's a remix and he had sing it by himself. And then fun fact, this girl on TikTok like duetted his like TikTok of the song and like she sang her own part and then he like collapsed with her and I was like that is just like so amazing. So that's my favorite song right now. Um Favorite alcoholic drink? Um, 
I'm pretty basic. Like, I guess something that I usually get when I go out, we always do my Malibu and pineapple juice, like, all the time. Or, like, a cranberry vodka, but uh, I don't do vodka that much anymore. So, we'll go with Malibu and pineapple. But, like, if I'm out at a restaurant, like, a margarita. Yeah. Tequila over vodka, for sure. Do you want children? Um, yes, I would like to have little kids. Little kids. I would like to have little Lexus one day in life. Um, yes. I don't know how many yet, but one day. Um, what's your best achievement? Um, I feel like... Oh, me getting emotional. Just kidding. Um... I feel like, like, as of right now, like, my best achievement is, like, graduating with my bachelor's. I felt, I feel like, like, school is so hard, like, no matter what program you're in, like, whether it's, like, whether you're at a community college or a university, like, school is so hard, like, props to everybody in school, like, it's so stressful, like, my last semester, I just graduated, by the way, with my bachelor's last December, and I was like so stressed out because I was like, I was taking biochem. If you've ever taken biochem, I'm going to be praying for you. It is the hardest class I have ever taken. Like the hardest class. And I was like 80% sure that I was not going to graduate because of that class. But I made it and I did it. But yes, um, that is my biggest achievement as of right now. And just I feel like... Um, being where I'm at right now as a person, I feel like I've learned so much these past, like, few years about myself and, like, just, like, things that I've gone through, like, you know, like, we go through things and we're like, why me? Like, why did that have to happen to me? But then, like, I feel like I've grown and, like, now I understand, like, you know, things like that have to happen to you in order for you to become stronger, like, a better person, all that stuff. Um, so yeah. Okay, another question. What was your childhood nickname? My childhood nickname was actually... <laughs> who? I don't even know who would call me this. Keka. They would call me Keka because they couldn't say Alexa. So they would say Keka. And it literally sounds like Kaka. <laughs> but they haven't called me that in a really long time. Usually people just call me Lex now, but... That was like, when I was like a kid, like, they would call me Keka because... I think, I don't know if it was my sister or my cousin that would call me Gekka because they couldn't say Alexa, but yeah. What is your go-to song to sing to in the shower? Honestly, I play like my, like my, I don't know, I have different vibes. I was going to play, I was going to say I play like my in the feelings music so that I can like sing my heart out, but then sometimes I'm like, no, I want to sing to like one of those songs that like makes you happy not sad so it's a little mixed okay another question is do you follow your heart or your brain for making significant decisions that's i feel like that's a complicated one but it's also a good one i feel like i follow my heart because like i feel like up here like you can get in your head a lot but it's like okay what do you feel in here me getting all emotional like, you know what I mean? Like, I, cause I get in my head a lot. Like, I overthink things, but it's like, okay, Alexa, like, what do you really feel about it? And don't make a decision just because you're overthinking it. Like, what do you truly feel? So, I feel like I make, I follow my heart, not my brain. Is there anything that you want to change in your current life? Um, I feel like I'm pretty happy where I'm at in life like I said I, I feel like I've grown a lot in the past few years um I graduated um I'm currently in a pre-master's program um so I feel like I'm like I wouldn't change anything you know I'm happy okay another question is do you regret do you have any regrets in your life and that answer is no because I feel like Whatever you go through in life, like, like, it's all for a reason. I believe in, like, everything happens for a reason. So, no, it has 
all made me who I am today, good things and bad. Tell me any place where you love to go when you are feeling sad. I feel like the real ones know, but it's El Paso. Um, I did come home recently from college and I was like so homesick, like I was ready to be home. But at the end of the day, like El Paso is like my forever happy place. So like if I am like going through something or feeling sad or like, you know, just not in my, not in a good headspace, like El Paso is like my place to go. Okay, another question is, what was the worst phase of your family life? That one's a little deep. Um, I mean, I feel like I I want to be real. Like, I never want to be, like, fake on here. But I feel like the worst phase of my family life was probably when I was younger just because my parents didn't have the best relationship and it was just it was just hard you know um sometimes people aren't meant to be together forever and if you didn't know my parents are divorced my mom is married my dad is not um my mom is remarried my dad is not but yeah, we just went through a lot as kids, but again, like going back to like everything happens for a reason. I think it's um, made like not only me, but my sister and my brother like the strong people we are and like just like the overall like personality we have, like how we carry ourselves. Like it's affected us all in completely different ways, but you know. Like I said, everything happens for a reason. Um, which member of your family serves as a role model for you? I will definitely say my mother. Um, she is a hardworking woman. Um, she had me at a very young age. Um, didn't finish high school. Um, after she had me, my sister, and my brother, she went back to college to be a teacher you know she would work during the day full-time job go to school at night um it was it was I think it was a hard time but like she was so strong because working full-time and then going to school full-time is very hard um so she is definitely somebody that I look up to and I'm so thankful to have her as a role model in my life um and she just really does everything for us, so she's awesome. If you're watching this, Mom, I love you. Okay, I'm going to do one more question, and it says, do you have any studies? I'm assuming, like, college-wise, but like I said, I graduated in, Decem I graduated in December, and then I just started a pre-master's program this month, and it's, you know, it's exciting. It's something new, um, more school, but I know it'll be worth it. And I know, like, some people, I get, I think, and I'm sure other people can relate, but it's frustrating to me when people, like, ask, oh, how, how much time, like, do you have left? And I'm like, oh, you know, this many years. And they're just like, oh, my God, like, that's such a long time. And I'm just like, like, I just feel like it's hard. And then I know because I've stressed about it too, like, not everybody finishes school in four years, you know, I took, I think I took five years for my bachelor's, which I used to stress about it, because I used to be like, oh my god, I need to finish, like, ASAP, and at the end of the day, like, you're going to school, you're working towards your degree, it doesn't matter how long you take, like, what matters is that, like, you're working hard, and, like, that's it, you know, so yeah, that's definitely something that is hard to hear when people are like oh, you have that much time left but i just know at the end of the day like i'm working hard and i know it's going to be worth it so if you're in school and you're stressed about when you're going to finish or however long you're going to take like don't let that be the reason for your stress like i'm so proud of you keep going um but i'm going to end the video here guys i hope you got a little you know vibe of who i am like i said um, if you're new here my name is alexa and you can follow me on my social medias down below and if you have any questions just comment them down below but i'm so happy to be back and i will see you guys in the next video bye